this is Heidi Bound coming to you from the Flying Unicorns YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be sharing a really fun technique with you. I've heard it called a few names. I've heard it called faux mosaic. I've also heard it called faux stained glass. Doesn't matter what you call it as long as you know how to do it and you give it a try. So I want to start out by giving credit where credit is due. This technique was taught to me by a dear friend of mine named Pat and ever since she taught it to me I've been trying it out in a variety of different ways. So hopefully you enjoy it and you try it out. Alright, so let's take a look at the first step. Alright, let me show you a few supplies that you're going to need for this project. First of all you need some sort of chipboard or hard cardboard. Something that can actually handle some wet adhesives and wet products that we're going to use on this. Regular pattern paper is a little too flimsy. You don't want anything that's going to bend. You will also need some sort of adhesive, a wet adhesive. Um, I have uh, a neutral pH adhesive here that doesn't have much left, so we're going to try to get a lot out of it. You'll also need some pattern paper. I don't have much here, just a few scraps of paper. These are papers that go together rather nicely and will make sense on my tag great chance to use your scraps. You'll also need glossy accents or crystal effects, some sort of lacquer, and you'll also need uh, perfect liquid pearls. Liquid pearls is a Ranger product and you can find this as well as glossy accents in Flying Unicorns online store. So let's get started. I'm going to take some of my adhesive and spread it all around my tag. Now you can use a chipboard butterfly, you could use a chipboard bird, frame, whatever you would like as long as it's nice and thick. Now I'm spreading this around with my finger. You could use a paintbrush or a scrap of paper if you want. I don't mind getting messy. So I'm spreading this all around and I'm going to show you how to put the papers on and then I'm going to fast forward this so that you don't have to watch me cover the whole tag. Okay, so I have it covered with my adhesive. I'm going to take my scraps of paper and I'm going to cut them into a bunch of little shapes. Don't try to spend time um, figuring out what shapes to use at this point. Right now I just cut a bunch of little triangles and squares and things. Okay, and I have my little pile. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to begin placing these onto my tag. And what I want to make sure is that I leave a little valley between the papers so that I can fit my liquid pearls in between my little papers and you'll see what I mean in a little bit but for now what I want to make sure is that I am leaving to see that little valley leaving a little valley between the papers. And again, I'm not giving tons of thought as to the placement, but what I am thinking about is that I don't want two like papers ne right next to each other. So, okay, and sometimes you have to move them around a little bit so that you have a small valley and I guess not a big lake. How's that? If the papers hang over the edge, that's fine because you can come in and cut that off. All right, so now I'm going to put this into fast forward and show you the rest in just a little bit. The glue is 
these nice and dry underneath the little scraps of paper. And as you can see, I have all of these little edges sticking out. So I'm just going to grab some scissors, snip those little edges right off of there. It's easy with this tag shape because the edges are nice and straight. It can be a little trickier if you're using a, a shape that has some curves, but in that case, just grab some small scissors and get into the little spots. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to do the faux lead on this technique. And this is where I'm grabbing my liquid pearls. Liquid pearls are available in lots of different colors. For this particular project that I showed you at the beginning, I used ocean blue, which is a really great blue color. And right now I'm going to show you rouge, which I love. It's this really fabulous pink. On this one here, which I'm going to be showing you in just a second, um, I used bisque. I'm going to do the next part of the, act, the project on this tag here. So let me show you how to do the faux lead. What you want to do is take your liquid pearls and find a starting place and squeeze the liquid pearls. You actually don't want to touch the nozzle onto your project. You want to sort of squeeze the liquid pearls into the, hold it up into the air and then release it and drop it at the end of the line. If you've never used these, you may want to try them out on a scrap piece of paper or on your craft mat before you try it on your project. I'm filling in all of the little lines and even like these bigger spaces I'm still using the same technique to fill those in. Okay. I'm not going around the outside of my tag quite yet. I'll do that at the end. Alright, so I'm going to speed this up. You could watch this the rest of the way and then I'll tell you the next part in just a few moments. lead piping I guess we could say. I'm going to move that one off to the side because it's very wet and it needs a lot of dry time. I have this one ready for us so I can sh finish showing you how to do this technique. This was done in the same exact way just using different colors. So the next part of this is that you want to grab your glossy accents. This is available just like liquid pearls in Flying Unicorn's fabulous online store. Now Sometimes this gets very clogged on top, so it's very handy to have a stick pin close by to unclog that. What you're going to do is you're now going to almost make like a little pool inside each of these spaces that you've created using the liquid pearls. I'm going to squirt some down. Glossy Accents begins to level out on its own, but what I like to do is I like to take the little stick pin and move the glossy accents around into the space. And I do this because I I really want to try hard not to get the glossy accents up and over the little wall that I've created with the liquid, liquid pearls. The effect is much cooler, I think, if you can distinguish the sort of wall that you've set up when you did all of that work with the liquid pearls. Now sometimes you'll get little bubbles in the glossy accents when you put it down. You could take a pin and pop those or you could try to slide them over to the side of the space that you're working on. 
One way to not get those bubbles, although it isn't, it's definitely not a flawless technique, is by not ever shaking your glossy accents. Shaking glossy accents, first of all, there's no reason to shake it. And secondly, you're just adding air bubbles into it. All right, so I'm going to fast forward through so that you can watch me fill this in. And then I'll, sh I'll talk to you at the end about a few other pieces that I've made using this same technique. tag covered in glossy accents. It needs a lot of time to dry. One thing that I suggest is to not use a heat gun on this because a heat gun will cause the glossy accents to heat up very quickly and begin to bubble. Sometimes that's a cool look but it's not what I'm going for on this project. I want to end this video by thanking you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this and learned something new. I want to show you a few pieces that I made using the same technique. You saw this video at the beginning of the video. This is a 4th of July tag. This is actually the first piece that I ever made using this. And this is very cool because on the back it's a pin. Just added a little bling there to the bottom. And this is also a pin. This time two hearts and in the glossy accents when it was wet I just added a little bit of tiny little micro beads and another charm. So you could get as creative with this as you'd like. And the last one, it's actually my favorite, I used a bird chipboard, it's also a pin, and I added some of the Prima vintage trinkets down to the bottom of the bird. So hopefully you've enjoyed this technique and you'll go try to make some of your own. If you do, make sure you post them in Flying Unicorns Gallery on the forum. And until next time, go make some art. Thanks so much.